I am Anil Kumar and now in this video we will consider composition of functions using linear and logarithmic functions. If f of x equals to 2x minus 1 and g of x equals to log of x, state f inverse of x, f of g of 100 and g of f of x. Let us try to find f inverse of x. We are given f of x as 2x minus 1. We are given f of x equals to 2x minus 1. I will use two different strategies to find the inverse. The first strategy is to read it in the reverse order to find inverse of the function. So if I have to read it in the reverse order, what do I get? The function is to the number we are multiplying by 2 and then take away 1. That is times 2 take away 1. If I have to read in the reverse order, what should I do first? That is to say, I want to read the function from right to left. In that case, what will I do first? Add 1, so to the number, add 1 and then divide by 2. Perform reverse operation to get the inverse. That is how you could get it, even without doing any calculations. Now, let me show you how to do with calculations. So let's say method number 2. So in that method what do we do? We write the equation as y equals to 2x minus 1 then we swap. We write x equals to 2y minus 1 and then isolate for y. So we get x plus 1 equals to 2y or y equals to x plus 1 divided by 2. We get the same answer. Do you see that? So exactly same answer. So we can say f inverse of x is equals to x plus 1 divided by 2. So both are the correct answers, both are the correct methods. You can adopt the method you like. Especially when there are multiple choice questions, I prefer this. Okay, let's do the next question. Next question is f of g of 100. What does it mean? It means f of, we have to first find what is g of 100. So g of 100 means this is your function g. So you'll replace x with 100. So you say log of 100. That is f of g of 100. Now what is log of 100? Log is to the base 10, right? So you could write this as 2, right? So this is 2. Why is it 2? Since you can write, now let me show you that work also. Why? log of 100, log is to the base 10. So we can write 100 as 10 square, correct? So therefore, you get this equals to 2. So we have written f of 2. Now, let us calculate f of 2. f of x is 2x minus 1. So what do we get? We replace x with 2 here and we get 2 times 2 minus 1 and that is 4 minus 1 and that is equals to 3. So the answer for the second part of this question is f of g of 100 is 3. Now let's do the last part of this question. g of f of x, it really means that g is the outside function and we write down inside function which is 2x minus 1. So let me write down 2x minus 1. So g of 2x minus 1. Now g of 2x minus 1 means we have to replace x with 2x minus 1. You get the idea, right? So now we can write this as equals to log of, instead of x, I'll write 2x minus 1. So that is our result, right? So that is how we can do composition of f of x followed by g of x. And that is what we mean, composition of these functions. I hope with this, the concept is clear to you. Thank you and all the best.